Hey now, I'm back with an exclusive trading system that has been requested by a member of the Traders Landing community. After I test this profitable system, I am going to share five ideas and concepts on how to make it even better. Just be sure to crush the subscribe button or the market can land on your head. I call this strategy the Tokyo Express. And like most trading systems, it can be adapted to Forex, crypto, options, stocks, indices, or any instrument that has significant volume and market participants. This trading strategy utilizes three free trading view indicators. As always, links and settings to all indicators are listed in the description below. The first indicator is the Ichimoku cloud. On the one hour chart, I am going to remove the Tekensen labeled as the conversion line and the Kejusen labeled as the baseline. This will just leave the Ichimoku cloud on the chart and provide the overall trend direction. Moving down to the five minute chart, I am going to do the reverse and keep only the conversion and base lines on the chart. These two lines will provide our entry triggers. The second free trading view indicator are the average true range bands. I am going to set the upper and lower ATR multipliers at two and color it in white. The ATR bands will be applied to the one hour chart and will be used to set our stop loss and take profit levels. The third study is Divergence for Many Indicators version 4. This indicator will be placed on the 5 minute chart and is by one of my favorite Pine Script authors, Lonesome the Blue. I am going to set the divergence type to hidden and only select these oscillators the MACD, RSI, Stochastic, Chenkin Money Flow, and the Money Flow Index. The presentation style will be kept at default. This indicator will attempt to identify hidden divergence on the chart by adding a green label for hidden bullish divergence and a red label for hidden bearish divergence. On the Tokyo Express, these labels will confirm our entries. Let's go over entry criteria and review some examples. As always, system rules and details are listed in the description below. This chart is the British pound versus the Japanese yen one hour candlesticks on the top chart and five minute candlesticks on the bottom chart. The rules to go long on the Tokyo Express are first, price must be above the green Ichimoku cloud on the one hour chart. Second, the divergence indicator must show hidden bullish divergence displayed as this green label. The third rule requires the conversion line in blue to cross above the baseline in red. Our rules are met when this candle closes. That is our trigger candle. We place our stop at two times the ATR below the trigger candle and target two times risk. And this example continues the trend to the target. If you enjoy this content, make sure to click the like button. I have one more long example. We have price trading above the green Ichimoku cloud on the one hour chart. Second, there is a hidden bullish divergence signal. Finally, there is a cross up of the blue and red lines. Everything converges on this candle and it serves as our trigger. The stop is placed at the ATR band on the one hour chart and one to two is the target. And after some time, the target is hit. Now we flip to shorts. This is what I would test for shorts. First, price must be below the red Ichimoku cloud on the one hour chart. Second, the divergence indicator must show hidden bearish divergence displayed as this red label. The third rule requires the conversion line in blue to cross below the baseline in red. All of that happens on this candle here. That is our trigger candle. The stop is placed at the ATR band in white on the one hour chart and target two times risk. And the short example hits the target. I am going to show you one more quick short setup. Price is trading below the red cloud on the one hour chart. Then we can see a bearish hidden divergence signal. Finally, there is a cross of the red and blue lines. This is our trigger candle. The stop is placed at the ATR band and the target is one to two. And this last example crushes the target. I'm going to share with you some ideas on how we can improve this system along with a trader's landing score. And now it's time to do what I do. If you enjoy this content, hit the like button. Remember, this is just 100 tests on one instrument. 
If you are thinking of using this system, please do extensive back and forward testing and be sure to let our community know what you discover. This test was done on GJ, one hour and five minute candles. It took a brisk 38 days to find the 100 trades. Most wins in a row was an astounding 12. And most consecutive losing setups turned out to be nine. The 57% win rate came with a 15.94% maximum drawdown and a very nice 2.65 profit factor. This data set had a yield of 142% gross, risking 2% per trade. But this test also has a very large caveat, which will be illustrated by the equity curve. The equity curve and data from this test may be what I describe as condensed. The problem is when testing this system, there are many signals that take place while you would actually be in an ongoing trade. Under live conditions, you would not take all of these signals, but I have some ideas on how you actually can take those signals. Stay tuned. I give this system a trader's landing score of eight because it accounts for the higher time frame trend, uses trend continuation signals, and contains some good concepts that can be ported to other systems. Remember, the enemy of great is good. I have five ideas on how we can improve this system. When the cloud is above the ATR band, like in this example, you can use the bottom of the green cloud as your stop loss level. This will get you in and out faster, and perhaps with the ability to increase your risk versus reward ratio. Second, as previously discussed regarding not taking setups when you are already in a trade, there is an exception to this rule. If you are able to move your stop to break even when one to one is hit, you can then take the second signal as your exposure is mitigated. Third, some other ways to configure the divergence for many indicators that would provide interesting results is to first enable hidden divergence on the higher time frame and regular divergence on the lower one. Second, only take signals when more than one indicator gives the same signal, like here where we get a hidden divergence signal from two different indicators. Another way to change this indicator is to increase the pivot period to reduce the number of false signals, especially on the lower time frames. Fourth, there is a feature on the divergence indicator called show pivot points. This indicator will place an H and an L on swing highs and swing lows respectively. Now, if we match the divergence signals with these pivot levels, then we get really powerful entries. Furthermore, you can apply the divergence indicator on the larger time frame and then snipe entries with tight stops when you get a signal on the lower time frame. This strategy may lend itself to a trailing stop loss. If you want to support this channel and the work I am doing here, in addition to connecting with some like-minded traders, I encourage you to check out our community site where we are discussing all things trading. And have a great day, because you deserve it.